What's up, my dudes? Welcome, everybody, to the first game review on Dreams for PS4. So I'm just going to go through and pick out a completely random game. We're going to go and check out the entire game and try to give an overall review of it and uh, try to give a, obviously, 1 out of 10 rating and then a difficulty on it. And this is sort of a start of a series here that I really want to get into, kind of like checking out other people's games that they've made in this game and and uh, content stuff on this. So I pretty much do this with every single game I get into. Like I figure out a way to review certain aspects of it, right? So with the motocross games, it's like track reviews, right? You review other people's tracks and with... A game like No Man's Sky, you review the different planets in the game. Well, you can do the same thing with Dreams for PS4, basically reviewing the games that other people have made. So there's a lot of different random stuff here. Let's see if we can even... I don't even know what it ha has me on exactly. Let me see. Uh, is this just like the top games, I'm guessing? Uh, let's see. Dream... You're looking for game plus story plus showcase. Let's uh, filter uh, category and tags. Okay. Let's go game, right? Because some, some things that are made in Dreams isn't even a game. It's just like a, it's like a little film. You know what I mean? It's not even a game at all. So let's uh, make sure we got that on game. Uh, that's good. Just game. We'll try to check out one of these. I'm um, sure these are probably some of the more famous ones. Um, yeah, let's just keep it going down through here. Uh, hmm. Let's see. There's just so much stuff being made for this game, dude. It's insane. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Coneball. <laughs> that sounds kind of interesting. Uh, dude, there's just so many different little, like, gameplay mechanics you can put in there and stuff. The Great Escape. All right, this is Galaxy Vibe. Let's check it out. The Grape Escape. <laughs> I thought it was The Great Escape. Oh, God. Okay, The Grape Escape, made by Pebbly Jacks. Uh, okay. Let's play this puppy. <clears throat> Okay, uh, we're literal fruit of the loom in this mother trucker. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, X to jump, slash double jump, press and hold R1 for guided line. Hmm, interesting. Got a nice little TV over here, so if you guys don't know, Dreams, you can basically make your character anything, and this guy has literally made a grape character. So, <laughs> this is cool. Totally indoors, like you're in a room, like you're just a little grape sitting on a little fruit bowl, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> that's pretty sick all right let's see what we got there is no telling what's gonna happen on <laughs> oh this should have been called fruit of the loom adventures okay whoa what the hell is that i don't know what them old blue shards are that fell down i don't know if i should be worried about that or not oh son of a nut am i supposed to climb this hoss how am i oh yeah i got a double jump wow i forgot okay Ooh, this is kind of interesting we're in like a little bit of a warehousey hmm Ooh, stars off in the distance man all right yeah you would get a little confused if you didn't really know where the hell you're going okay i'm like going through a little teleporter all right it's taking me to like it's still within the same level it's just like it's a little took me to another part <laughs> look at the car oh wow that is cool speed bump baby that is an interesting car he's got over it's like a fucking red batmobile all right Let's try to get across this without getting squashed. Is that kind of the goal, I guess? Uh, yeah, that is definitely the goal. Okay. I thought he could do, like, a don't run over the squirrel number and kind of go, <laughs> kind of, like, you know, ride directly over me. That didn't work out. This is cool. I feel like I'm playing Frogger. You guys remember that on PS1? Uh, okay. Yeah. So he's got this, like, constant one, one little vehicle going that way and then one going the other way. All right gonna make sure and miss it <laughs> okay boys uh the grape adventures wow this is something else here all right let's see 
So we go through the car. Okay. I thought this had some sort of galaxy aspect to it. Like, I think we're going to, like, get on a spaceship or something at some point. The original little picture of it kind of showed that. But this is just a simple little platformer, obviously. But I can already tell you right now, just making those cars and doing all that, uh, that's not easy to make all that do like that. So that's pretty cool. You can tell some time's definitely went into this. Um, obviously, all the animations are working pretty well on the, the actual character here. The uh, It's interesting how the little, when you walk, like that side of the grape there on the bottom, the little three pieces, you can kind of see it right there. It's like my extended hip on the left, right? It kind of bounces around like you think it would. So, uh, grade A animation on this little uh, one-of-a-kind character model here. Whoa! Now oh, it's getting good, boys. Oh, got to time that jump out perfectly. Obviously, some nice objects through here, little chairs and stuff you got to jump over. But it's got an interesting little vibe to it, like a almost L.A. noir kind of little spooky little oh I'm f f falling through the cracks boys falling through the cracks okay so you have like checkpoints right that's nice I actually need to figure out how to get checkpoints on my um, platformer game I'm working on right now that would definitely uh, do me a dandy so he's got a little crack right here gotta be careful not like tiptoeing your Jordans through that Woo! Uh, yeah dreams has a bit of an issue when you fall like a certain distance It'll almost act like you're falling off of the map when you fall like a, just not even that far of a distance even, you know, just a little bit of a distance. It'll kind of act like you're falling. I don't know, like the camera won't keep up if you start falling. Uh, I think that is a little bit of a bug. Obviously, uh, you know, Dreams is still in early infancy, uh, you know, stages here. So maybe they can improve on that a little bit. Uh, let's see. Okay, now she's getting a little more complex. Now you gotta land like right on each one of these. Go, what the? Okay, little one right here, yep. Now we're here, all right. Cool though, man, like, it's actually a long enough of a game you feel like, all right, here we go. Okay, now we're to like some, uh, <laughs> what the heck? Now all of a sudden we're in this freaking little spaceship thing. Now we're shooting. Here's the galaxy part. Uh, thrust. Thruster. L2 plus X. Oh, dude. I like this. L3? Dude, I'm trying to figure out how to... <laughs> the controls are a little bizarre here. Um, so, yeah. Basically, you can boost with the... Plus X is the thruster, so you have like a standard boost, little blue schmutz coming out the back, and then you got the full-blown thruster, right? That is cool. That's a little bizarre that I just all of a sudden went from like, great man platformer to this. <laughs> like, uh, I'm a little confused on like what exactly is going on here. Um, yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying to figure out. It says plus, plus up and down. It's not working. The up and down aspect is not working here. Um, huh. So yeah, I'm not really sure why, why I can't go like I'm. I can't move up and down. You know what I'm saying? So I guess it's like a whole other planet, right? We were just on that other planet over there. So can we land on this? For real? Can we, like, land on this puppy? Oh, dude. Ah. Oh, wow. This is awesome, bro. This is, like, damn near No Man's Sky level. Not, obviously, not nowhere near the, obviously, when you fly in, it's like, you know, cut, and then you're on the planet, you know, instead of, like, seamlessly flying into it. But, holy God, bro. That is freaking awesome that you were able to... I'm gonna have to look into the, the, uh how he did that because i really do want to make a a game in here kind of like that but this is a really cool planet i guess you'd call it right here oh dude that's cool it's he basically made no man's sky in dreams like that's pretty much exactly what he just did but just with without really uh without really calling it no man's sky you know what i'm saying he like basically made an event adventure game where it uh 
And a nice little checkpoint back to here. Interesting. So, so you can't like go backwards and then get back in the ship, right? So that's part of it. This is like a cool little pink artistic level right here. Hmm. But yeah, so you'd run into some issues trying to get where you could get back in the ship and then go back where you were before. That would definitely take some time to really get that down. Whoa. Okay, we got some little cool little rocks. This is a nice level though, dude. No doubt about it. Nice uh, little animations on those. You just don't want to fall down the water, obviously. Oh, oh got me, dog. <laughs> uh, wow, checkpoint real close there. Hmm. Cool. Oh, we found the grape family. The villagers. Oh, shit, they're not nice, dog. Not nice. Uh, where the hell do I go? Okay, I guess that's the end of it, right? Hmm, sick, dude. Thumbs up on that one. Continue? Oh, I guess that's it. So, yeah, you go from the planet you're on, and then you just fly to this, like... To the grape planet, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of like the whole, kind of like the whole vibe of it. Um, cool, dude. Yeah, that's legit. I would give this a. I don't know. It, it's obviously a lot of work was put into making that whole first area where you come out. I mean, that that would take a long time, dog. Trust me. Um, and then obviously one of a kind character, the grape character, animated really well. It's just a nice little, like, it's kind of a little bit of a, what, adventurer? Yeah, it's just a little adventurer platformer. Obviously, it's not too extreme difficulty or, like, you know, you've got checkpoints everywhere. So, it's not really like a difficulty-style game or whatever. I don't, I couldn't really see you playing this multiple times. It doesn't have a lot of, like, replayability, but it's still a f really cool experience. And just being able to go from a planet to another planet and land... That's really awesome, dude. That really opens up my eyes to what you can do in Dreams. So I'm going to give this thing like a 9 overall. And uh, I'm going to say the difficulty, you're probably looking at like easy. I mean, in the grand scheme of it, it's not like a hard game. You know what I'm saying? So either way, dudes, hope you guys enjoyed this first game review. Uh, shout out to Pebbly Jacks. Uh, you made it in, dog. <laughs> the Grape Escape picked you randomly. Uh, this whole Galaxy vibes what brought me into it. But uh, yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, Definitely a thumbs up on this one. This was awesome. That was really cool that it like went from that whole first area and then to a whole nother planet. You just fly into the planet and then you're like there. That that was really sick, dude. They're very No Man's Sky esque. You know what I mean? Like real similar to that, which is cool that he can make something even close to that on Dreams. I thought that was really sick. So either way, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Later, dudes.